welcome back to another adventure with Mac Daddy and G-Man. Oh yeah. Alright, well, first of all, I don't know where we're going. I just want to get that to everybody. So, we have no clue where we're going, but we're going on an adventure. Come on, let's go. Good morning, folks. Sorry about the long wait, because we were just at a hotel. It was so late. And for dinner last night, we got um, Buffalo Phil in Wisconsin. Just wanted to catch you guys up. Bye. Don't, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Full of St. Paul, Minnesota, and here it is. Beautiful St. Paul, Minnesota. Kind of in the bridges right now. Hold on. So, yeah. Oh. It was so intense. We're in St. Paul, Minnesota. We're in St. Paul. We're in St. Paul, Minnesota. Just to get you a heads up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And leave let's a comment go. down below. Bye. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Whoop, guys. That's an orangutan, and that's a big orangutan, and it's very hairy. Bye, Rangatang. <laughs> hey guys, these are giraffes at the Como Zoo. Yeah. Come on, let's go on adventure. Where are we at? Hey guys, we're at Mall of America, and we just there's this huge plane that just passed us a minute ago. Now you can't see it because it just went through. The back of Wall of America. Come on, let's go see America. Hello guys, we are on the third floor of Wall of America. We have taken a lunch break. It's been doing some very good food so far. So we've completed We've completed our shopping. We didn't get much, we completed our shopping. Gotta go on another adventure. Did you ride a ride today? Yep. What was it? Do you remember? Uh, polar spl SpongeBob's Polar Splunger, yeah. something like that. Yeah. How was it? Terrifying. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die during the ride, so I'm, I'm, I said I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Did you die. go upside down? Yes. Yeah. And I'm scared of that. So like, you go on, you think it's a normal ride, but you go up. I feel like I can fall back. Then when you go down, you're like in the air. Like if you're like really light, 65, 64 pounds. Yeah. You float above your seat. You're like, until you finally get to flat surface. All right, Scary. Mason, what's your um, take on the mall? I give it a solid eight and a half out of 10. And um, so the mall, was, it, was a, it was a normal mall, but the ride, that was the best part. So I did the same one as him. That was so much fun. He might have thought it was terrifying, but it was really fun. Awesome. So, so Mall of America, a place to visit. Maybe not the best place, but 
we're you seeing is what you're saying. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So Mall of America. Peace out. Now on to our next adventure. Come, Come on, on. Let's, let's go. go. Extra pickle, that's Grayson's. You got a pizza melt. I don't get where they get the pizza from, but it tastes good. And they've got a double cheeseburger, that's my dad's. And it all tastes pretty good. Yeah, but I would. I want to say something. I don't know. I'm just saying it's really good food. Come on to our next adventure tomorrow. Come on, let's go. Hey guys, right now we are still in South Dakota at our hotel and Here's how me and G-Man have fun. <laughs> ready? Ready? Go! Wait, hold on, hold on, restart. Alright, ready? When I say die, okay, alright. You're gonna die, throw it. Alright, ready? Set, die. Guys, I, I missed it, guys. Alright, well, I'm gonna hand you off to G-Man. a master at this. He's still underwater. I can't believe that. Alright, G, go for a dive. I'm just throwing the ball again just to get all the water out. What? Huh? Hey guys, sorry about that. My brother 
just stopped it for some reason. Now I'm gonna catch it. Yep. I I was about to get it. I it was to the right where the water was, and I missed. Oh no, I'm taking. Nice. Especially for being outdoors, it's only like 75 degrees. The pool is really nice. And in the pool, it's 85. Yeah, in the pool, it's 85. Wait, but let me check over here. Actually, 87, I'm sure. Jeez. 87 degrees, guys. Very nice, because like, outside it's like 75, but the pool is really nice. So, alright, well, see you in the next video. What's up, guys? Um, Mason's gonna do a humongous cannonball. Here we go. <laughs> How do you think of it, Mason? That hurt. <laughs> so, all he's gotta say, that hurt. <laughs> so right now, I'm going to go dive with this heel. So, this is a heads up what it looks like underwater. goes on for 10 20 miles that way that like any direction you go is just nothingness 10 20 miles anyway but all right well on to our next adventure as as dennis likes to say it come, come on, on let's, let's go. go hey guys this is some more myrtle where it's just nothing there's only like a couple trees here like a couple thousand trees not like um, in like Indiana. It has like lots of trees. Like there's only five farms, a couple houses. There's not that much. Sorry about that. We're driving. That's all the news I got for now. I'm. I'm gonna see you. I'm gonna see you guys later. And like Dennis says, on our adventures.
You may go. Come on. Let's go. Sheep and like a pond over there. Is that sheep? Yeah, those are sheep down there. Okay. Seriously, know. miles and miles of nothing. It's miles. This is a scenic pullover. We're still traveling through South Dakota almost to the Badlands. is that there's a bunch of these like quarry looking things. I don't think they are, but just a bunch of those all over the place. All back there, up there, everywhere. Oh, I'm not sure if there's snakes over here. I'm not sure one bit. Um, then we'll find out. I don't know if that rattle, I don't know if you can hear it. I don't know if it's um gun uh, I don't know if it's a snake or it's of uh, its crickets. I think it's a rattlesnake. So I'm staying away from there. Definitely. And we'll see you on our next adventure. Like Dennis says, come, come on, on, let's, let's go. go. Hello guys, we are in the Badlands in South Dakota. Badlands National Park. Absolutely beautiful. There's, it's nothing, but it's beautiful. I mean, it's natural. This is all formed. Yeah, all these rocks, they were basically made five, or not five, uh, 50 million years ago. Um, that's when these rocks were formed in the Badlands. And it was first named by um, some Native American tribe that lived in South Dakota. And they named us the Badlands because of how rocky it is. So, right now, this is our view so far. But it's really beautiful. Badlands is absolutely beautiful. A bunch of these big old rock formations like those. Um, especially all the way over there. Those are the nicest, but um, these ones are pretty cool too. I mean, all of them's pretty cool. Like, show your head. Look at that view. Absolutely beautiful. But um, yeah, it's really nice out here. It's not that hot, but it's pretty good. Pretty good weather. I mean, these are 150 feet tall, and these are the small ones, so it's crazy, but got a nice little chair for you. If you ever come here, watch out for rattlesnakes, that's what they say, but yeah, so. Happy birthday to my mom. It's her birthday today, June 5th. She's, she's old, guys. Yeah. She's turning 37. Turning old. But. This is scary. <laughs> Turn off for a minute so you can take Now it's 
turning back into South Dakota and not the back. I'm gonna miss this. <laughs> basically all the badlands so probably 250 feet up at least I mean look over there absolutely beautiful like 250 feet up from the ground it doesn't look like it from over here but we are if you actually go like the grass out there right there we're like 200 feet up but Come on, let's go. Hey guys, sorry about the other one because the one before, it, you could not see the buffalo, but here's some buffalo. Okay, maybe. There they are. For you, 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 they're a little far, but they're actually really not flat. They're really close. There's a, there's a prairie dog. Yeah. The prey dogs are within like 30 yards and the buffalo are like 20. It's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's all the news I got for now. On our adventure, come on, let's, let's go. go. So, it's a very cool place, actually. The view, absolutely beautiful. It took, I'm pretty sure, 14 years to build this. And they sculpted it by hand because they didn't have the things that we have back in the, I don't even know, back in the 1800s at some point. But we're about to go down there and maybe on the walking trail over there. So, on to our next adventure. Come on, let's, let's go. go. 
Hey guys, I'm just walking down the stairs. Um, I'm gonna get is I'm gonna get to level ground and show you how high. Um, I'm thinking um from from the ground down there, the level part, to um George Washington George Washington's hair. I'm saying this is about three. Three, four million feet tall. Because this is really high. I'm saying 600 feet. No, it isn't. I'm saying 600. Mason is not 600. 600 goes pretty tall. So, not really able to see it. Where should it go? Yeah, you just go right over there. Eh, I'll have to go right here. So. You can't see Mount Rushmore. So, that's how high Mount Rushmore is. Um, I could go lower, but that. Huh? Okay, what do you see? Squirrel. There's a squirrel. My squirrel. Where do you go? Venom. Watch me. What is it? Like squares. It's just eating right now. So that's all the news we got for now. That just scared me. Hey guys, we just watched a movie about um the the monuments. Of those, I just found a picture of that. And I just used them. Very cool. Whole is very cool. And there's a lot of art here. And I'm gonna show you that. Here's some of the tools he used. Hammers. No, I have no idea. Smith tools. Yep. You have one. Oh, baseball. A ribbage board. Mount Rushmore, Jersey, and next section. This is when they were, I don't know what that is. That's um, Lincoln. That's when they're working. The final stages. These are the final stages of what they're doing. Ooh, talking. Like that. Still final eight. Final stages. And that's what they hang on, hung on. For everybody to appreciate. Um, see this right here? That connected to that, so they can hold them up. It's really hard. I can. They used explosives. Explosives. To take it, to take stuff away. Um,. This is just a little thing of Mount Rushmore. We'll get to the heads closer. It's like a little thing. It's just like a little 3D picture. Not bad. So right now they like made extra stuff to like plan out what it looks like. They created these to see how they can make them. This is how they can So they, they made them. To see how they would do it. They used these explosives. Um, they, they used a drill. Um, oh, this is this is what the TNT looks like. Yes, more tools they use. Oh, more stuff. More tools they use. A corresponding large-scale version of the pointing tool was also attached to the mountaintop. The bar extended out over the faces and could be rotated to any degree. I have no idea what that is. No idea. So I'm just gonna keep looking around this place. Here's a gun. Here's some delivery stuff. More delivery. What does it say? It's just a stamp of. It's, it's just a stamp of. 
That's what this is. That's what that is. Right there. That's what the stamp is. Enormous sacrifice and a daring. And that's who started it. Passed away. Um, Described it. Before they made Lincoln, and they give it to they gave it to his son. He gave it to his son. And on to our next adventure. Come on, let's go. Hello guys, we are here. Still at the Washing or not the Washington Monument, the uh, uh, Mount Rushmore, which really cool. There's a bunch of like exhibits here inside of the museum. And then there's a bunch of, um, like, tools, and they show you how they use them against the rocks, which is really cool. But other than that, besides looking and taking, uh, watching about 20 minutes of a video and looking through the exhibits, there's really not much to do. Um, but it's, it's pretty cool, I think. Pers I'm a history nerd. But personally, I think it's a good experience. I think. If you ever have like a kid or if even okay. you, if you're this into uh, like history, then uh, definitely check out here. But here's the last view. Absolutely beautiful view, view here. How are we going to get down? Are we going to go that way? No, we're going to go that way. But yeah, very beautiful out here. There's G Man. He's not gonna die, guys. I worry. am not. But so all that rock up there I learned today that's under the monument is blown off rock from the dynamite when they used to build this. That all wasn't there. And they wanted at first to build this place at some like basically needles that stuck out of the sky couple miles that way but then he thought why not why not just build it on a mountain face which would be way easier so on to our next adventure come on let's go hey guys just giving you back um we're, we're at our hotel we're just going to eat breakfast and our pool, yeah, we got a hot tub in normal pool. Hot tub, amazing. Pool, freezing. Like, if I went in, you guys would have saw my legs, arms. Um, and feet covered. Like, you just see me shaking so hard. Uh, and that's all the news I got for now. On, like to, then, on to our next adventure. adventure. Come, Come on, on, let's, let's go. go. Hey guys, we're in Buffalo, Wyoming. And I'm just going to show you guys around the Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, we Hi guys, we are um, at the Rocky Mountains in Wyoming. In them. Yeah, we're in them. And um, we're heading to our next de destination slash adventure. And look at this view. It is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, Okay, we're gonna edit that part out. All right. <laughs> okay. So on a, on the way to our next adventure, come on, let's go. Hello, guys. We are in Buffalo State Park in Wyoming. Absolutely beautiful view. Just out, Buffalo State Park is just outside of Yellowstone National 
Park. So today we are going to see, we're going to try to see Old Faithful, the big old geyser, um, and then some hot springs is our main goal today, and then take a little hike. So on to our next adventure. Come, Come on, on, let's go. Hey guys, we finally reached into Yellowstone, Yellowstone National Park. Um, it's really beautiful. Ooh, hiker. Once we get in, we're gonna tell you more. Come uh, on, on our adventures. Come, come on, on, let's, let's go. go. Hey guys, me and Grayson are about to have a snowball fight because up in Yellowstone, we got snow. So, yeah. whoa, just yeah. missed. Yeah, I'm fighting one handed here, so kind of disadvantage. Oh, I made a ball. That's funny. I'm gonna set you guys down for a second. Boop, boop. Going on a mission. Dang it. Dang it. Go to me first. Psych. <laughs> Guys, I think he wins. Hey, right, let's go up by my father. Pretty cool view. Right here. G. But yeah. Here, G, take a video for me. Can you start already? Is it starting? Yeah, starting. Okay, let's let's we'll still let's keep on the snowball fight. What? Let me show you guys. How about you go down this hill instead of right next to the road? Okay. Not you, Grayson. Uh oh. Where do I go? Right down up. the hill. Oh, I don't Go over there. Go over down. there, Mason. I don't ten know. steps down, Mason. So, here I am in, what's he called? I'm in Yellowstone. Yellowstone in Yellowstone National Park. And they've had a lot of na um, forest fires. Like this one over there. And you got the Rocky Mountains, which you try to climb on. Over there, um, and I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna show you more view. Trees. Um, there's a lake. There's a lake over there. Um, so there's there's another forest fire down there, and that's all the news I got for now. On our adventures. Come on, let's go. Hey guys, we have just, or well, we're about to leave Yellowstone National Park, and on the way out, we have found some uh, herd of buffalo. There's some babies up on the hill over there, but I just thought it was really cool. But, um, so we watched Old Faithful. We watched that go off, which that was cool. It went, what, for like three and a half minutes-ish in the air, and it was crazy, but, um, and then we were just hiked around basically. It was really fun though. Alright, on to our next adventure. Come on, let's go. Hey guys, uh, one thing is we were just at about 71 degrees about five minutes ago, and it is now snowing and 40 degrees, and it's only been 10 minutes. It is absolutely ridiculous. Like, I don't even know if you can hear me right now. It's crazy. I'm cold. He's cold. That man put the window down yeah. on a slippery road and drifted no, and didn't. got snow all over my face. Yeah, so there was a car coming down the road and the tires flicked up. The snow came in the car. But 
My ears are popping, which is really bad, but I found some elk. See what's going on here. Yellowstone National Park. Um, we're still in Na Yellowstone National Park. Um, I gotta take a picture before I go. And that's all the news I got for now. All our adventures, come on, let's go. Hey guys, we're in Jupiter City. I mean, Jupiter Spring Yellowstone. Um, Yellowstone. in Yellowstone National Park. Um, and here is what happens after hot springs and sulfur. Yep. Springs. So this is that's what it used to look like right over there. Not those dead trees. That grass over there, and then because of the sulfur in the um, because of the uh, sulfur in the hot spring, it is um, it's d very destructive. But all right, on to our next adventure. Come, Come on, on, let's go. Hey guys, today is Wednesday. Um, so today our plan is basically gonna be uh, to go to Yellowstone for most of the day and then start making our way home and. The place we stayed at last night is a very cool place. The Antler Lodge in Gardner, Montana. Very nice place. Okay, anyways, on to our next adventure. Come, Come on, on, let's go. Hey guys, um, I just wanted to tell you, Buffalo, this, um, my dad threw, um, Elk poop at that man. Yeah, true story. So, uh, that's all the news we got for now on our adventures. Come on. Let's, let's go. go. Bear and three cubs. Bear and its babies. Look how tiny those babies are. Oh my gosh. You're so cute. Is that a girl? Hey guys, um, we are at uh, the um, Hot Springs in Yellowstone National Park. Um, we're here to see the world's largest hot spring. Hot spring, yeah. And um, geyser. geyser is what it is. Geyser. Hot spring, geyser, anything. So, so the largest, second largest, and third largest are here. So, mom, is blue and red together? Yeah, we're gonna have to see. So, no, mom, I think they're not. Oh, I think it's from the. I think it's the orange. Um. So. So the blue color, all you see right now, is the world's largest. Right here. They're not falling. It's very hot. And then you can see the blue coming off of it. Yep, all the orange is surf sulfur. Mm -hmm. All the chemicals from it. I'm not trying to drop it. And this is all we got for now on our adventures. Come, Come on, on, let's, let's go. go. Hey guys, uh, we are still in Yellowstone, but two things. So we have a buffalo right over here. Seen too many of those. But 
today we've only seen cow elk and for the first time today we have a bull elk Most of the time they travel alone because we've seen like a bunch of herds with uh, a bunch of females and a few babies but we haven't seen a single male today and there's the male right there. Why? Hey guys, we just left Yellowstone. Um, we're making our way back home. So we just had food. I rate it five out of five. My dad really mad because they had no steak. Ribs. I mean ribs. Yeah, so this is Wyoming Roadhouse. Good food. They just ran out of ribs tonight. That's That happens to restaurants all the time, but I rate the food 7 out of 10. I had the shrimp and I didn't really like it, so I'd, uh, I'll give the food a 6, but the overall experience a 7. So, on to our next adventure. Come on, let's, let's go. go. Hello guys, we have ju we have left Yellowstone National Park for at least this year of vacation. So sad, beautiful park. But now we are on our way home to Indiana. So we have an adventure that we don't know about. So on to our next adventure. Come, Come on, on, let's go. Hey guys, we're going on an adventure. We're in uh, we're in Iowa. Yeah, try to. Get, try to guess what we're doing here. Whoa. <laughs> that was scary. Yeah, at the moment I was falling, but we're doing something else. Well, guys, uh, we're uh, kind of going cave hunting. And yeah, there's a bunch of bats. Those aren't bats. What are they? That is clearly a bat right there, Dave. Yeah, so going cave hunting right now. Very cool. Alright. Hey guys, we're in the cave right now. Talk loud. Um, it's really sketchy. So, I'm gonna keep it soaking wet because I didn't know the blocks over there. They're over there. Yeah, also, yeah. also, he, uh, Grayson's pretty lucky because I have to duck to stand up. He doesn't. Quality. Oh, yeah, found a quality and good. It's good. Yeah. But, okay, so, this is like one of those ones that you, like, taller people, we have to duck and crawl and stuff, but, so, on to our next adventure. Come on, Come on let's, let's go. go. Hey guys, um, I'm up here, and I'm not sure how I'm gonna get down. <laughs> There's a way to live, but I don't wanna go down here. You can do it. Cave, you just go look into ice cave. Ice cave. It's a crawl with a headlamp. Okay. All right, you're gonna slide just a little to get to that next rack. You can do it. No, I can't. Yes, you can. Nice and slow, just like that. <laughs> do what you did while we were fishing. Right, keep going. Do what you did while we were fishing. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Hurry up. Go. There's a rock you threw, guys. Stand up, put your feet on your feet, and walk down. Now you got the rock. Come on. There you go. Guys, we might only have one favorite grandson. That'll be me. I mean, I'm already their favorite, but. Am not. Am, yes. Alright, on to our next adventure. On to our next adventure. Come, Come on, on. Let's, let's go. go. Our trip back home to William Prairie. Um, and. Um, so, 
last night. The only, it was basically, so we went to the caves and then we stopped by Cabela's because it's a great store. But, alright, so on to Debbie and Dennis's next adventure. Come on, Come on let's, let's go. go. Don't forget to like and subscribe and, and comment. Bye. Bye.